We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. My guy, my guy, my guy. This is a special episode, an amazing turn of events that unfolded in the week of February 3rd, Chinese New Year. It was my first time partaking in the largest migration of humans, and I had to get in and film the whole process. This episode is split into two parts, a cause and effect. The first one is about my time in Qingdao during the brink of New Year, and the second one is an amazing trip to the big city and the Great Wall. Each document the biggest holiday in China, my proudest moment of the year, and the morals it presented. Chapter 1 I spent my first four official days of Chinese New Year f***ing around. <laughs> I have never seen so many fireworks go off at one time in the city. And I've been to Topeka, Kansas for the fourth. Everywhere I turned, firecrackers were snapping off in the air, and I had to get a piece of the action. These are all fireworks. Look how many fireworks there are. While aimlessly wandering around the city at midnight, we were asked to help a family launch their fireworks. All 5,000 of them. I still hear the explosions in my head, but it was a hell of a show. And even after, we were invited to set off more, carelessly laid out across the street. It made me realize how much I love fireworks and people being scared shitless. So I formulated a plan the next few days. I would go to the local fireworks shack and pick up whatever these are and begin terrorizing. My targets, I had two in particular. Pratush, a jolly Indian man, usually intoxicated, and the fierce Ukrainian warrior. She's the queen around the apartment. So I got the guys together and formed the greatest military coup of our apartment's history. Okay. Pratush, do you want to throw one? All right, Martel, he's like fucking powered. Run. <laughs> After being locked out of the apartment, choked and cheated, I decided my holiday needed a change of pace, a change of scenery. So I packed up my bags to see something pretty great. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you at the Great Wall. Hello guys. It's currently 5.30 in the morning. I'm on my way to Beijing. Every night plus every day up. Every day patches the night up. Oh God, you should match it, it's that kill. No way that is still up on my 28th of 1998, my family had the acro Oh, the legend Kept at least six this and Alright, I got my ticket I'm um, about to scan it It's quite busy in here um, It is the Chinese New Year after all It's the vlog, it's the vlog yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool <laughs> Yeah, we're going to Beijing From Qingdao Food has arrived This is hella healthy Look at the size of this banana Why are the grapes so big? But the banana is so small. The plan was simple this time. Go to Beijing with my newly formed crew, comprised of Vic and Dylan from the UK, Bradley from St. Vincent, and Oscar from El Salvador. Plus his girlfriend from Together we were an unstoppable force And we proved it throughout the trip Except when we needed it the most Baby, baby What are we about to do? F***ing climb We're no. about to take shit Yeah, we're, we're, we want to take shit yeah. I need to do it <laughs> Who are we sponsored by? Uh, Snickers, get some nuts uh, Snickers, get some nuts So my card is full on my backup camera Good thing it's just a backup. I guess uh, the B-roll of the food was too much for it. Look at that jiggle. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, welcome back to the James and Bradley food review. 
Yeah, we have a lot of stuff on here. I got fried. Oh fuck! I got fried noodles. I got some bounza. Yeah. What do you got? Rice and scrambled eggs. Pork sausage. Oh. Mandarins. Look what he's got on the side. Also, he's being healthy. It's the breakfast of the Great Wall of Champions. Yes, we are going on a crazy trip today. This is I good. give that a thumbs up. <laughs> now we just eat and I'll make a time lapse. You ready, Bradley? No. Bradley, I love how Tim really shall feel. Ni hao. And there he was, like an angel. Average height, a polo jacket, firm grip. Jeffrey came into our lives. This van will be the ride for, hey, look who's here. This van will be the ride for the whole trip. We named this guy Jeffrey. He started off as a random taxi encounter to the Forbidden City, but proved to be much more than that. All right, how are you guys feeling? Didn't see you there. <laughs> you wanna zoom in? So we are in Tiananmen Square. We have the museum to my right. And then I don't know exactly what this building is. I'll put some text over saying what it is. And then we have the picture of Mao in the distance there. Followed by the Beijing Monument. So there's a lot of crazy history here, and it's interesting. time we've no control if the sky is pink and white if the ground is black and yellow it's the same way you show me <laughs> the highlight of my getaway was the great wall of china i'll never forget the first time i saw it from the car and even stepping out of the tunnel once on top of it the wait was three hours in freezing cold weather but once we made it onto the wall, the sun came out and we began to take in its greatness. It was crowded at first, but the further we walked, the better the views got. And although the pictures were amazing, we soon realized why. Slide down the railing, bro. Okay, go for it. <laughs> the Great Wall is steep. Some parts being so steep, you'll either lose control without support or slide down the support entirely. And to make it worse, the stairs were either Jeffrey's height or a few inches tall. But despite the physical challenge, we were amazed the whole hike, and it definitely held up to its world wonder status, having us amazed the entire way down. <laughs> I much prefer going down. Really? I hate it. Actually, you know what? I don't know. Going up's horrible, man. Was it fun? Great wall is just up that way. Afterwards, we celebrated the only way we knew how finding the Cheesecake Factory in the heart of Beijing and giving Vic his first slice. This is his first ever try of a Cheesecake Factory cheesecake. How does it taste? Oh my God. It's a food classic. Oh my God. That's why it's called the Cheesecake Factory. We decided to try some traditional street food as dessert and even scorpion and silkworms were in an added cherry on top. Yeah, you can. I have before. Yeah, go for it. Oh. That was a big bite. Yeah, you did. You got it. <laughs> can we hold it? Beautiful. I can't believe they have bacon, amazing. Actually, how about that bacon juice on the bottom? It's getting B-roll here. Ooh, he's making moves. Oh! What you eating, Bradley? Dumplings, rice. Nice. After our tasty free breakfast, we were off to the best place in Beijing for the winter month. Summer yeah. Palace. Summer Palace in the winter. I'll let the footage speak for itself. You think she wants to sell my lot? Yeah. Damn, Peggy.
What if like every couple of thousand years we ref refresh? That's what the ice is, isn't it? Yeah, like every couple of thousand we just refresh. <laughs> Despite our banter about the world ending, the chilling air and dead plants, the summer palace was beautiful, adorned with detailed bridges, temples and gardens. We decided to change our pace afterwards and see what we could at the Olympic Center. Jeffrey got us in for free. Yo, Jeffrey got us in for free. We got Jeffrey. Jeffrey, don't do it. Da, na, 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 na. Run, Jeffrey. Yeah, go. There's the torch. What do you think, Bradley? It's almost as good as Victoria Park in St. Vincent. I'm going to put a, a picture of the park on the screen and I'll see for myself. Gold and How dare you? This wall behind the torch has all the medals won. <laughs> Stop. The next day, I didn't film anything. And for a good reason. We went clubbing. We're in an Uber right now. We're getting turned. Where are we? We're somewhere in Beijing, we're gonna have a good yeah. night, man. Where are we, bro? We didn't do anything the next day except eat Burger King and Subway. Thanks, Beijing. And that leads me to right now. I've left Beijing, I'm back in my apartment, and I'm trying real hard not to fall asleep on my desk. I will say, I feel like this new year will do great things for me. And I want to be able to explore more of the world, and have way more things to accomplish. These videos are just a hobby, but I promise myself this year to upload them as much as possible. So I hope you like them as much as I do. My biggest achievement of 2019 was seeing the Great Wall, but I know I'll complete way more. It's going to be a huge change for me, and I want to show you why. When I'm choking out, I need oxygen, 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 yeah, oxygen, oxygen.